much to learn you still have. Yes, Master. Hey guys, welcome back. I know today is Saber Saturday, but I'm starting off by showing you what R2 looks like as of this moment. I was able to get the skin on yesterday, but I didn't realize until it was halfway done that it was crooked and lopsided, so I'm going to have to find a way to take that off. And since I've already cut out some things, uh, yeah. <laughs> the poster board's already been trimmed, so I'm just going to uh, take off the details that I made and paste them or glue them or secure them or something onto a different piece of poster board so I can make sure, absolutely sure, they're centered. And yeah, the feet have been painted and the legs have been painted with a base coat of white. This part's going to be silver or something like that. And uh, these parts right here, this section and this section, they're both going to be painted blue. And I know after the blue goes on, they're really going to start coming to life. Any further details, I'll probably add with a Sharpie. I know everyone's very, very interested in seeing progress on Darth Vader, but like I said yesterday, I'm kind of stuck on Vader. I need to figure out some way to seal the helmet before paper mache it so nothing gets all wrinkled and nasty. And they said the best way to do that was to use a base coat of spray paint. And I've got that in at Walmart, but I can't pick that up until after church tomorrow, along with the cloth for Darth Vader's cape. So that's going to have to wait a little while. But the good news is I finally got paid from Patreon. You may remember there was something of a fiasco going on with my bank account, but finally everything has been processed and worked out and whoosh, it's been deposited in my account, so yes, thank you! I got paid and I've got a little bit more coming to me from both Patreon and Google AdSense. That's the revenue from YouTube. It's gone down a little bit, but my next payday is coming up pretty soon and I'm very happy about that. Today's agenda is going to be doing a little bit more work on R2, as much work as I possibly can on Darth Vader. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do. The helmet's going to have to wait. I'm probably going to go ahead and paint and finish up the chest box today, including the wiring and stuff like that. Uh, one of you, John Cordisco, came up with the brilliant suggestion of using Velcro to close it up, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a flap, add Velcro, and then just stick it on there. <laughs> So after it's painted, it, it'll be, that will be all done. Oh yeah, and of course I'll still need to add the straps. I'm thinking on using, thinking for, of using like duct tape for that. But anyway, that's what's on the agenda for today. Plus of course, lightsaber practice. I'm going to grab my nephew and see how much we can practice that duel. I'll probably start work on his costume in a couple of days. So I'll check back in later, and I apologize for babbling, but I'm a little bit out there right now. So see you guys later. Okay, first coat of Mod Podge. I know it doesn't look any different, but it helps to seal up the glue, the, uh, the glue in the, um, the, the tape, so the tape doesn't come off or peel when I paint it. I think after this is dry, I'm going to do one more coat and then paint along the bottom. And then hopefully, we've got rain predicted for today. I hope that doesn't happen because if it does, I'm going to have to wait even longer before I can spray paint this thing silver. So yeah, that's the status on R2. After the work with the dome is as done as it can be, I'm going to go back to Darth Vader and try and finish his chest box. Ta-da! The dome is silver. I wasn't counting on it looking kind of like um, <laughs> duct tape, but yeah, it looks sort of like duct tape. At least it's silver now, and um, it's pretty much sealed. I need to let it dry for 24 hours, and then I can... I guess start putting the details on. It's starting to look like R2 and I'm getting a little bit excited. That's going to have to wait because I need new paint brushes and more paint. I'll probably get that. I might be able to get a little bit of it on Sunday. I've got the buttons all ready. All ready to go. The glue gun all ready to go. But the chest box I just started painting. I need to let it dry and then I'll get back to it. 
I'm actually, while I'm waiting for this paint to dry, I'm actually watching <laughs> the uh, episode, episode three with the commentary. I just finished watching episode two with the commentary, and it was pretty interesting hearing from them. Found out a couple things. But yeah, waiting for the paint to dry so I can put on another coat on the chest box. And after that, I will add the buttons. And oh, yeah, I did add some Velcro at the suggestion of a, a John Cordisco. Thank you, John. This is actually working out pretty well for attachment, so. Yeah. Okay, so after some work, the chest box, okay, apart for from um, a way to seal up the bottom because there's light leaking out of there, and a couple of other minor details. The chest box is essentially done. I know I still need to make straps for it, but it secures on here with Velcro. This is what the inside looks like. See, I've got Christmas lights all over the place because I couldn't just isolate the uh, black and the red, but they're like taped in place so there's no background light coming in. And there's the battery box right there. And once this thing closes up, and then this is the coolest part. Now, mind you, I'm only borrowing these batteries until I can get some, I don't think I can get them tomorrow, but I'll probably get them um, no later than Monday or Tuesday when I get some other stuff, but check this out. This is really cool. It lights up. Look at that. Now the lighting is not perfectly even, but you know what? I'll take it. It looks enough like Darth Vader that I think it'll work. And I think that's pretty cool. It actually lights up. It's not just so I can glow in the dark and go <sighs> So that's so cool. Look at that. Yay! Darth Vader lights up. So there we go. Now, um, I'm kind of tired. I don't really want to cut anything else out of cardboard today. Uh, probably not until Monday. So the armor and the shin guards are going to wait until that. Monday is going to be a big like shopping day, and then it's going to be down to the wire, trying to get everything finished by Friday. So until then, unless I don't have anything else to do, R2 is going to be put on hold, but... I'm pretty excited about this. I think it looks pretty darn good considering it's all cardboard and like colored pencil and tape. Okay, so with costumes worked out now, uh, for Luke Skywalker's costume, oops, hello, stay. For Luke Skywalker's costume, I'm thinking I'm gonna go to the thrift store and get a small khaki t-shirt, long sleeves, with buttons and then modify it so it'll look more like Luke's shirt and then my nephew can wear his um, cargo pants and I can make him a belt and he can borrow my pouches so that'll complete Luke's costume. I might even be able to get some actual lightsaber hilts. Uh, no word yet, but if that happens I'll definitely let you know. So as soon as we get to lightsaber practice I'll come back. So see you then. Bye! I'm so happy about this! One. Off, on, off, on, off. Wee! So, so it's already 5.30. Apparently both kids are way more interested in watching Zootopia downstairs than in practicing lightsabers. At least I was able to get the entire sequence storyboarded and I've got Luke's costume figured out. Darth Vader's costume is coming along nicely. I'll pick it up sometime tomorrow. But that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it wasn't more interesting, but I'm kind of under the gun. I know after May the 4th, things will definitely calm down a little bit. I'll probably get back to the regularly scheduled vlog. And then, of course, I'm going to have a, vet, uh, a special guest on from about the 23rd through the 30th of May. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And don't forget, I am uh, uh, on Patreon. If anyone is interested in helping this vlog uh, keep going, go ahead, go to Patreon or Spreadshirt. Nobody's gotten a t-shirt yet. Maybe I can kick things off by getting one myself and showing you how it looks. <clears throat> Question of the day. Uh... I can't think of one. Again. 
I'll be, but tomorrow I'll finally be doing a book review on one of those books I got in the mail um, earlier this month. But until next time, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Bye, guys.